Hello, hello. So, you've seen my streams, you've seen my videos. Let's get a Let's Play going. Unedited. We will do loads of cool stuff. We'll say maybe the first hour or so of the game. Not really much more than that. We'll get a bloody good start. I mean, you know, we'll do all the cheeses that people think are patched and we'll just get ourselves set up to basically destroy the game, okay? Stay offline. I think a lot of my stuff is, you know, online with friends, co-op, you know, having this edition PS5 to um, repatch and do all these cool glitches. Let's make this one really accessible. This let's play, really good start, first hour or so of the game, anyone can do. Choosing royalty class with a providential ring. Basically easy mode and the providential ring's a good pickup. There's my guy. You know me by now. Royalty class, providential ring. Lovely start, right? Skip that. Unless you want to fight the vanguard, go to the unknown egress, egress. Get the iron helm. It's not really going to benefit me. Um, I'm not really feeling it. This is about getting a good start, not necessarily about having too many challenges. I mean, uh, have a look here. Silver Catalyst, Silver Coronet, both each 20% extra MP. Um, we've got... Fragrant Ring Restoring MP, we've got Providential Ring for item drops, and this Rapier has a critical damage boost. No bad. All of that for free. So what we'll do is, Cling Ring, Thief Ring, Key to the Mausoleum, Cheese Doran, um, Thunder the Dragon's Treasure, Red and Blue Dragon, what they're hoarding. Um... As you can see, Raffia's not that great, but Soul Arrow, <laughs> awesome. That Raffia will give nice crits on backstabs. Um, also, never too, never too early or too late to pick up some grass and some souls. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm um, just thinking about all these enemies. I think from here, we can probably run through... Um, we can probably run through to a slightly decent point where we can relax a bit and then snipe a few enemies and just get them all taken out. There you go, lovely. I mean, we don't want to leave. Too, we don't want to have too many enemies, right? Um, we don't want to have too many behind us. Um, they will. They will sort of continue chasing us down, and that will be a problem when it comes to cheese and Doran. So what I'll probably just do here. Let these guys have their fun. We'll come halfway up and then we'll kill everything on the stairs. So rolling there is just really handy. You can push, you can push NPCs, you can push um, enemies and stuff like that just by rolling into them. Yo. Snipe. And stab. Spell and stab. Snipe and stab. Always works. There we go. It's like I say, you, know, you can run past all this, but is it really going to help us in the end? I'm not sure. What are we doing, mate? That was brilliant. <laughs> we both looked like fools there. Had good detail up, on, up close on his face then. I was quite happy with that. So this corridor is the first place of importance, really. Get these barrels out of the way. Make sure there's nothing in here for Doran to attack when we're cheesing him. The repost usually works better when you're on, um, if you're on like a sort of slant, like a gradient, a hill or steps or something, you'll notice a lot, even if you do parry, you won't get the repost. Just take a step forward. Take a step forward and, um, Repost animation will kick in nice. It is actually possible to roll through this boulder. There you go, look. It doesn't it's not really worth it so much in like saving time or anything. It is a risk. So I would be careful. Okay, let's get the shortcut open first then, just to be safe. Don't let the blue eye guy scare you, just get behind him. Okay, so we know we've got a 
Strava and the ring and everything down there. Thief ring. We will get the shortcut and the clean ring first, just to be safe. And again, get the fire bombs. Get the fire bombs. Can time that so the second straggling runs into the flames as well and dies. Just slow down coming, coming down the stairs. <laughs> that guy loves just jumping to his death. Not quite his death, but um, he looks a bit annoyed. Looks like he's having a bit of a temper tantrum down here. Right, this is where it gets a bit ropey, so just be careful here. Let auto lock on do all the work. You've got it set. Probably just go all guns blazing to the lever. Doesn't matter now. These guys can kill me. They can do whatever they want. We got the shortcut and we'll get the cling ring. Here we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, I'm not too concerned about item drops in this first area of the game. The providential ring can come off. What is really handy is to keep the um, the MP up with the fragrant ring. Remember that you've got the chains there. I didn't get those on the way down, but there's items down there from what we've done there. Look, they will be eventually on the on that corpse that hasn't quite made it to the floor yet. <laughs> okay, so rings down right check that off the list so what we want to do next is thief ring and mausoleum key now i have it on good authority just experience and things like that that you're not going to lose character tendency killing ostrava if he dies by natural causes that tends to be the rule of thumb if the npc or whatever dies from say like environmental damage like fall damage or fire like the bonfire that we'll use shouldn't really affect your character tendency. Right, thief ring next. Lovely. Lovely jubs. Right, we can we can backstab him. We can roll him off as well if we roll into him. There we go. Let's see if that gets things started down there. I mean, sometimes I tend to just snipe these. You think, oh yeah, I'll tell you what'll happen. They'll fight Ostrava. It'll be a good old battle and they can sort each other's HP out. To be honest, snipe them. Why not? Okay, he's already hostile. That's good. I think the backstab would have done enough damage to him. So use the fire. Try and just circle the fire. Get him to walk into it, basically. There we go. See how much damage that did to him? I shouldn't have sniped him, really. I should just let, let him go for it. Look at that. It's going in again. There we go. Yeah, see, I didn't see any change to that character tendency there. Brilliant. So we've got the mausoleum key. We've got our two rings. We've got the mausoleum key. Lovely stuff. We are progressing well. Snipe and stab. And backstab. No! Oh, no. Touche, old boy. Touche. Okay, lovely. Doing good. A couple of shards down there if you want to go down there and get some shards, but we're not going to do that. Ah. Not the parry that I wanted. Actually, very lucky there. Very lucky. Okay, so make our way up to Doran. I think. Another thing I would suggest to you guys is, if you've got the key to the mausoleum, you don't have to do the door and cheese now. You, you, you don't have to do it now. If you're worried about running around with 27,000 souls, it'll, it'll, it'll be, it'll be 30,000, basically. After you've racked up the rest of the kills and things like that. If you're worried about, you know, having that many souls on you this early on, then just... Just make sure you get the key. The way I like to do it is I get the key, the gear, kill the boss. If you're not feeling confident doing that, get the key. Leave Doran alone. 
clear this world, right? Get access to leveling up and everything. And then come back. Come back and focus solely, solely on Doran. Because then you can relax a bit. Pick up Archstone Shards in this run and you can run out. You don't have to worry too much about losing all those souls and fighting a boss. And, and running through dragons and all these idiots. Like, these guys... They're small fry, but they get you in a corner, you're in trouble. Even the draglings with their... The flaming swords. That can go south pretty quickly. We will be going to World 4. We will be going to World 4 pretty soon. And usually I would buy a club from the dragling down there, the merchant. Watch this guy. Let him throw his fire bombs. Let him throw them. And wait for the animation. Wait until they've cleared. See there, I still got hurt by that. I'm stabbing a bit now because I'm going to get the fragrant ring there. Get that MP back up. I'm pretty sure you can get a spice drop from those chains that we hit earlier. Um, the shortcut. But you might be thinking, well, you know, red-eyed knight's coming. You want to do some soul arrow sniping. But I, actually, I actually find it harder. I actually find it harder to soul snipe him. Much prefer getting up close, seeing what he's doing, and then getting behind him and getting those backstabs in, you know? There we go. Pick up as many heals along the way as you can. Right. Housekeeping. More housekeeping. Destroyed all debris. Yes. Let's get this room clear next. That lovely stuff. You know, any of this stuff that registers with Dora and gets in his way causes him to swing Northern Regalia. <laughs> you don't want that. You do not want that, trust me. Slap around the chops from that and it's game over. <laughs> so you can give him a good soul arrow snipe in the back and he's getting up. Works quite well. He will start healing in a second, so what I might just do is snipe and then snipe again. Oh, touche, old boy. There it is. Nothing to it, guys. Nothing to it. Remember, soul level one, baby. Okay. Taking all this off. Here he is. When he says, prepare thyself, brave knight. Get scared. <laughs> so what I try to do is try and get some good distance between him. He's very impatient. He will start running. You can get him into a run animation. You can get him good. You can get him really good because... Oh, there it is. I think he... There it is. There it is. You've got to keep a good distance between you and him. You don't want to let him get too close and you don't want to run too far. You want to... It's like kiting... Kiting 101. Yes, he stopped walk. He stopped running there, so I messed that up. Okay, so he's walking back there. This is how you get him. Don't let him go halfway through this room. Start punching. Headbutting. Boom. Cheese is done. That's it. Hard part's done. Now what we do... We get him to the stairs. Knock him off the stairs. Through a corridor. Off some more stairs. Done. So, you know, it's the... 20th of January 2002. I am not depatched anymore. I'm playing the current version of the game. This cheese will always work. It will always work. You just gotta watch his animations. When he's walking backwards. You're all good. But only until he gets halfway back through that room behind us. When he gets halfway through that room, the route the heart sort of the halfway mark closer, the half that's closer to the mausoleum, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> but on this side of it, laughing. Locking on really helps as well, I find. And headbutting, of course, up an R1. Much more effective than punching. I mean, look at this. In a matter of minutes... Seconds? I don't know. 
He's going down. He's going down. It gets tricky at the end here because you've got that plank of wood in front of the stairs. You've got to get him. That's it. Perfect. Get him. There we go. Easy. Easy, guys. Bit of practice. That's all it is. Bit of practice. And, of course, not patched. Ooh, before you go running into the world... <laughs> box some gear back on. <laughs> Well, always handy having weapons in this game. Having them equipped. So there you go, look. That is not a bad start, is it? So I believe we can go a little look. Before we get the thing of great strength, I take the gloves off. 1.9. Take the helm off. The gloves on. Five. Okay, if we keep. Here we go. It's fine. Okay. So, whilst we're here, but not that it's going to be a massive part of my playthrough, we got our 31,000 souls. Oh, that guy's still lit. Oh, jeez. Oh, 31,000 souls. We've got everything we need to kill the boss. <laughs> We've got... Doran's armor. We've got his ring. The ring's good. What I'll do is we'll have a quick look, but you know, free stamina recovery speed. But let's have a look at all this. Once we once we kill the failings, we'll do a summary, right? May as well come back and get Demon Brand. Why not? Why not? Just so we can show off the spoils, everything that we've picked up, okay? Healing item here, definitely worth it. I think it's full moon, is it? Oh, sorry. Oh, the sorry. The night drops full can, can drop full moon. I think. Dun, da, da, da. Demon brand in the bag. Lovely. But we're not going to rely on demon brand. We're not really going to rely on northern regalia or anything like. Like I said, this is very accessible. You can still power demon brand up by yourself, but you know, well, the character sensitivity thing that could be quite tough to do. You know, there's a lot of pure black world tendency events that you're going to have to compete with. So don't worry about Demon Brand. Don't worry about Northern Regalia. Okay, there's the Crescent Moon Grath. Lovely. Every little helps. That's what we want. A bit of Half Moon. Getting the Half Moon at this point just, just, it just keeps you ticking over for quite a few areas of the game. Dum dum dum. Right. Sort of dodged that and then walked back into it. That didn't really work. Not really a good move, is it? Okay, Blue Eyed Knight's a bit of a challenge up here. He's a bit aggressive, is this old boy? He's a sucker for the backstab. So there's that, um. Stab and snipe. Bye, mate. Oh. Well played, sir. Well played. You see that? Well played, sir. He wrecked me. <laughs> okay, so. Next thing on the World 1 1 checklist. Let's try and utilize the dragon as well we can. And whilst it's doing its thing. We'll, uh, we'll go and plunder all the dragon's treasures. Um, you saw there I got sniped. If, if, you, if you run too fast down there, one of those crossbow men is going to get a shot off before the boulder hits them. Here we go. No better feeling. Killing an enemy that has a spear when you've got a rapier in a thrust battle. <laughs> Killing them with a thrust, it just feels really good. I try to just stand here. This pillar here. Should be enough to make the dragon come. There he is, this Charizard. Just wait for that animation of fire. There we go. Just sprintsies. what we'll do is 
I, I always say here that I'm not going to plunder everything. I don't need everything. I don't need the purple flame shield, and I don't need this, and I don't know, but I end up getting everything anyway. <laughs> uh, so we just got to be quick. Got to be quick and don't panic. That feeling of the dragon looming, that red dragon coming back to us. So focused on the blue dragon's tail that we forget that that dragon's coming back, that red dragon. So, pick up the flame ring. Bait the animation, run back. Sprint in. Grab the ring of strength, right? Then just roll off. Everything. Done. Yes, to make things a lot easier, we're going to go for archstone shards. Archstone shards are handy because they're just going to save us a little bit of time later on. Warping in and out of worlds. Like, for example, we'll go to world 4-1. We'll get a good set there of items. Then you could go to world 5-1. Five one to get a good setup of items there as well. Um, but my only thing with that is is just um, is just making sure that um, you know what you're doing there. Because what you can do is you can get two HP regeneration items in World Four One straight away as soon as the Phalanx is dead. And then you can go and get a Blessed Mace. Five one, three items then. HP regeneration. Stacking. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Right. Never a bad idea to pick up pine resins from here. Nope. Our firebombs inevitably run out against the phalanx. We've got something to fall back on, right? Being quite flippant with my healing as well. <laughs> I'm not really healing much, but I suppose that's okay. What you want to do with these guys is try and just get them in this nice straight corridor. Soul Ray would be amazing here. Come back in New Game Plus and you've got Soul Ray. You can just burn through both of them. What are they doing? Oh, there we go. I'm not sure. Yeah, this, they usually come out a lot faster than that. I think it's because I was hugging this wall. If you come here... Give them a bit of an angle to play with. They should come running straight out. And remember, there's always a third one. There's always one more. Hidden in the darkness. And um, we got good MP, so I'll go Soul Arrow down here. Oh, he had other he had other ideas. He had other ideas, that old boy. Right, here we go. Don't think the hot light shields really do much against magic. More of a physical defense with those. <laughs> uh, never, never too, too late to pick up more souls, guys. Right, just don't, don't die this close to the edge, right? Surprise how many times I've died at this point. Okay. So I'm doing stuff like that. Nah. Okay, so world one is done. All shortcuts open, all that jazz. Um, let's tidy up what we're doing down here. Always advise tidying up your loadout before you go fight a boss. Put the stamina ring in, just because give us a few extra milliseconds or whatever for our stamina to come back to get another hit in. And we'll start with fire bombs, I guess. We can take a few hits as well, so don't be too too worried about get, taking a few stabs. That's that's the beauty of the armor. Guess we'll just come back round. Oh, wrong wrong item, wrong item. They're just healing when I didn't need to heal. There you go. Once you get into a little flow like this, get him against a pillar. You know that your sort of right flank is safe. He'll just open up. Could have been a lot better, but could have been a lot worse as well. Here we go. Some resin on. Doesn't it doesn't hurt hitting the hot lights as well. Yes. They can still cause trouble. Should only take one pine resin. Okay. 
this boss down. We're doing all right, guys. We're doing all right. Doing all right. Okie doke. So let's check our loadout then, shall we? Demon brand, a purple flame shield. The ancient king's set, all of it. Eternal warrior's ring, flame resistor ring, cling ring, thief ring, providential ring, ring of great strength, fragrant ring. 34,803 souls. I'm not going to be using the lead demon soul for anything, or lead demon soul. Careful how you use boss souls, though. It's not 40,000, which is sending my OCD insane. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to do something a bit controversial. A bit crazy. There's quite a bit of leveling up there to be done, right? I'm pretty much going to put it all in magic. I mean, we're going for sort of easy mode, best start to the game, like get some builds going, whatever. You know, you know, we're looking at first hour or so, I guess, right? Skip cutscene, baby. Running into walls. Stones of Ephemeral Eyes, always handy. Get them. Get them as many as you can. What we'll do is... We'll get back to the Maiden in Black. As much as you want to throw yourself off the top of the Nexus. <laughs> uh, don't. 39,000 souls. We don't want to go messing things up. You know, I, I never run down this side. I'm going to run, I'm going to run down this side today, guys. I'm change it up a bit. Still taking the risks. Still rolling off the edge. Be with me one sec. Apologies. There we go. Just want to be able to see the timer on my recording, basically. Just so if I'm saying two things like, hey, so there you go, guys. That was the first, that was the first, uh, first hour. I've been playing for like two hours. <laughs> okay. I love that when she asks you to seek soul power, it's not defaulted to yes. I think that's such a nice homage to the game because absorbing souls is essentially a bad thing. You know, it's what sent King Alan mad and turned him into a slug. So I kind of like that the UI defaults to no. I think that's that's Really, really like a nice little touch. Okay, so. Here we go. Do 11, 11 like that. In fact, we'll do 12. 30 magic, 12 endurance, 10 vitality, okay? It's not going to help us with a bow for sneak, um, sniping the Reaper, but you no. Know. Now, almost enough for another level up there, which is terribly frustrating. But we're going to come over here. We've been to World 4. So we're doing really good. World 4 next. So what I would advise doing, maybe kill yourself in the Nexus, go back into soul form. Just so that you can um, avoid messing up the world tendency here. And you'll notice... Taking my weapons off. Because look, what, look what the fists do to these guys. Look how much damage that is. Crazy, isn't it? These guys are really, really weak against blunt damage. Really weak. Now, the other thing we can do here... You can use the Thief Ring. The Thief Ring is really handy. But if we put the Ring of Great Strength on with our Stamina Ring... We should be able to equip all of this gear now. A really good defense this early on. Like, really good. Thief Ring is going to stop those two skeletons waking up, especially the archer. So you might want to consider that because you've got to take this guy on whilst dodging arrows. And it can just be just be a bit of a mess, you know. There we go. 
Alright, that was lucky. With this guy, don't spend too much time on him. I'll tell you why. He's already en route. So to fight him one-on-one, -on -one, bring him down the stairs, because the other guy behind him will, will be ready to, to fight. Okay. Doing alright. Doing alright. The reason we've come to this world is because we're going to get the Crescent Falchion. We've come straight to World 4, but we're going to get the Crescent Falchion. And that magic stat of ours is really going to help us out. Um, probably worth getting the Talisman of Gods, just because miracles become something we're going to be doing later on. We do get miracles, fossils from this world, you know, like the second chance and regeneration. They're, they're pretty cool. Just watch the trap in here, guys. I would just... You, you, you can sprint and roll through, but... I bother. Right, so I'm not getting the Crescent Falchion first, and there's a reason for that, okay? I'm gonna get the Copper Key first. The reason I'm not getting the Falchion first is because the skeleton that guards it does not like being... <laughs> he does not like being conned. <laughs> he does not like... does not like having his treasure stolen. And you'll be surprised how how keen he will be to continue trying to follow you and get to you. So watch the trap there. Copper key. So copper key is so we can get Blige. And the reason we want to get Blige is because he will be giving us the moon... Well, he can sell us the shards, the moonshade stone shards, to level up the Crescent Falchion. So when it comes to collecting materials, sometimes it's just a lot easier being able to buy them. Not cheap, the 3,000 souls, but as you guys may already have preempted, we're opening up an amazing, two amazing soul farming spots in this world. Prime bait the lunge, there it is. There we go. Perfect, right. So, I am going to equip it, I promise, but I like to equip it here, out of the way of everything. Here we go, Crescent Falchion, brilliant. And that's going to be scaling with a, a rating of A to our magic stat, so we're laughing. And it's causing bleed. And because it's Crescent, it's restoring our MP. So bleed, A scaling with magic, which we've got 30 points in. Uh, restoring MP. Crazy. Right, come on, Roly boy. I like to get the Roly guy away from the archer. Not bad. It's not a one-hit kill, but we'll be soon. Then I take the archer out. And in here we have the adjudicator shield, which is a very handy piece of gear. So if you can, get this skelly out of, of that ruined room. Get him. There we go. Oh, he's so keen. Brilliant. Then you've got the wall to play with. Just turn the camera. He'll, he'll be pursuing. Don't worry. Great. Great stuffs. Okay, let's come down here now. She shouldn't be coming any... shouldn't be following us any further than that. So there's a trap in here. Against the wall there. The button is here. Let's watch that. What we can do is... Get in comp and get that adjudicate shield on your back. Now, now we've got our first piece of HP, HP regen. If we also put the thief ring on, free backstab. And the reason we've come in this way is because this gets us straight to Blige, right? There he is. Hello, my boy. So when we see him in World War Two now. Telling us Moonshade Stone Shards and Soul Remains, which is really handy. Amongst other, other things, arrows for the Reaper, that sniping spot, just to keep it going. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to sneak back through Tunnels of Doom. Wow. No thief ring work in there. Quickly put the um, turn on Warriors ring on. Remember, there's another guy up here. Watch him. Never good fighting them in close quarters, but the Preston Falchion will sort stuff out. 
get the drop on that guy. Let him roll. Just get the drop on him. And it's worth picking up a bow, because if you are going to be sniping the Reaper for souls, why not get a free compound longbow while you're at it? We, we don't have the stats for it. Trust me. <laughs> but, you know... You can you can you can use this with the, sh the short compound bow which you get in World One One, and that's just going to give you um, a little bit more, a little less punishment on how many s stat points you need in strength. I think. Sparkly the crows here, remember? Secret vendor. But what we're getting here is we're going to get Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, and we're getting that Crystal Lizard. Cause this little dude has our first three shards. Boom. Okay, so. Lovely stuff. We have smashed World 4-1. So what we're going to do now is... The hard part's done. Trust me, the hard part is... Um, what we're aiming for now is... Um, oh, oh. That, feels, that just feels so good. <laughs> this time, baby. What we're aiming for now is this little bad boy. So now we have a regenerator's ring. So now if we don't care about our... Amina, we now have a ring and a shield that are regenerating our HP. But we're not going to need that at the moment. What we need is, we need to get this crystal lizard here. Shards 4, 5, and 6, right? Don't let him go anywhere. Ooh, and a moonshade stone chunk! Nice! I, I um, well, What I should have said there, guys, was put your providential ring on. Whenever you're killing the crystal lizards, put a providential ring on. Raise your item discovery. You always get hit here picking these up. I think I might have sniped the one. Over there, you've got the grave robber's ring. If you want that, not going to bother. Watch the trap. And now comes the easy part of World 4 1. I know, I know that sounds a bit crazy, but it, it really is. Adjudicator is an incredible... You do not need to cheese this boss, okay? Lock onto the, the sword piece. And just fight away. Listen for the squawk or the telegraph. And then just move to your left. And the sword goes straight over your head. When he comes down, hit the head. Stamina management, baby. And then lock back onto the sword piece. Around to the left. Sword will go over your head every time, I promise you. You don't even need to roll, you know? Okay, we should have him in two there. Easy. We're 38 minutes in, guys, okay? And we have just got access to pretty much one of the best soul farming spots in the game. And we have two pieces of um, HP regeneration gear on top of everything we got in World 1-1. So we're absolutely flying. So, want to get your Stone of Ephemeral Eyes? You may as well, may as well get the old storied warrior soul. Why not? But we are going to do something before we leave, okay? Now, up close. What I want to do is I want to get patches in the next. So here's Blige. He's, he's doing all right. He's selling us a short bow. Ooh. Okay, this is where we'll mix things up. Get the short bow. Need 12 in strength, do I? It doesn't have a warning sign on it, so we should be okay. See, see how these light arrows go. Let's just see if we can snipe this Reaper, baby. Baby. Uh, let's have a little look. We can, but it's a lot of, you know, we want to get those points in to make it, so we're hitting him in three or four. There you go. So, how many souls are we getting for that? 
2,953. So if you think about it, lower world tendency, ring of avarice, things like that. You've got a great farming spot there. You just rinse and repeat that. It took way too many arrows to hit him, I'll admit that. But, you know, we're a royalty mage class that just picked up a, just bought a bow off some dude. <laughs> you know? uh, I'm going to pop the providential ring on when we come back up, actually. So, lots of shards to be picked up here. Okay. Let patches do his thing. So we want we want patches safe and secure in the Nexus as a vendor. And we also want this guy if we want to start looking at things like Regeneration Miracle and Second Chance. So, chat to him. Pick up everything you can. And then see if we can get the drop on this guy. Take him down and get him bleeding. Yeah, so just a bit of speed there. Um, he's, hit, he's hitting hard, but it's not as hard as I thought. There's free backstabs to be had, you know. Stay on him. There you go, he's bleeding now. Not a difficult NPC. Don't you worry about it. Okay, perfect. More moon shade stone chunks. What we're going to do is we're going to go and level up this sword next, okay? But before I do that... <laughs> What I'm doing is a little cheeky cheeky. We're gonna farm a couple of more crystal lizards, okay? Call them crystal lizards. They don't drop crystals. They cost they they, they drop stones. <laughs> okay. All good with um, patches. All forgiven. All is forgiven. I think there's a souls item over here. Yep. Now, I actually got a pure Moonshade Stone Shard yesterday doing this, okay? So, obviously we've got the, um, the false wall, yeah? Watch the trap. Grab the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, because you can't have too many of those. And what you want to do, right? All kinds of stresses down here. Let him do that roll. Got a fat roll on, which isn't helping. It's okay, so just be careful of that. What we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, this guy. Don't let him fall off the cliff. Remember that that black skeleton is behind you. Moonshade Stone Chunk. Okay, fair enough. I got a, um, You can get a pure Moonshade Stone there if you're lucky. There we go. Now, we've also got the white bow up here. <laughs> we're getting a lot of sort of... Pretty really decent, like, end game worthy stuff. <laughs> Not bad, is it? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run back up here. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Just going to kill this lizard one more time. Okay. So there's a crystal lizard here, and remember, the way the lizards work is they have a respawn counter every time you kill a boss. For every boss in a world that you've killed, that's how many times, basically, that um, the lizards that you find that drop the mats will respawn. So what you'll find now is, watch the trap, lizard here should be back. And what I like to do with this guy is one hand the sword and get on the other side of him. Try and get around this side of him, just so your right hand isn't hitting the wall and it's hitting him. Here you go. Another three Moonshade Stone Shards. Lovely stuff. And then, right, what we do... We hit, we hit the Archstone in the Adjudicated Boss Room, and we go back. We go back to that Crystal Lizard. Um, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this way. We go back to the crystal lizard we killed on the cliffside because he already had a, a, a respawn counter of one. That's why he was there. But because we've killed the adjudicator, that means he'll be there again. This time, got a fast roll on. Still got the providential ring on, which is good. We're not gonna worry about the reaper this time. Let him, let him do what he does. Let him be him, or it be it, or her be her. Whatever the hell it is. Right. So, come back up. 
do the same thing. I'm going a bit too far there, apologies. Obviously, if you're playing online, you'll find this much easier because there'll be loads of uh, messages everywhere. I'm playing offline just to, to be safe, basically. Let's see if we can get ourselves a pure moon. Let's see, if we, see how lucky we can be, yeah? So guys, you have no idea how close we are to just having a plus five uh, Crescent Falchion this early on. Trust me. We just got the pure moon, uh, moon shade Stone. Oh. Let's get out of here. Get out of here, do a bit of leveling up, and we're going to go to world 2-1 next, okay? 45 minutes in, guys. 45 minutes in. This is madness. Absolute madness. Right, uh, I'm not going to use the Swollen Demon Soul. I always hold on to World 4 boss souls until I'm figuring out what I'm doing with them. Seek sort of power. Magic can go to 36. We're going to do that because it's just powering up the sword. Um, oh yeah, you want to make sure you've got a thousand what's-its because we're going to come to him in a minute. What we're going to do is we're going to open the shortcut in World 2-1. Then we're going to buy Water Veil from him. We're going to do the Lava Skip. But first of all, we just need to get to Blacksmith Ed, basically. So Soul Arrow is going to be really handy. Um, and our powered up Peasant Falchion is going to be as soon as we can get down there. We're laughing. We are laughing. We should be able to get at least a plus three, maybe? And be hasty. Remember that you've got a stone of ephemeral eyes down there if you need it, okay? So hit the lever, go down to get the stone of ephemeral eyes, go up, fight a fat official, get a crushing great axe, I think. You look here now. I think we've got a one hit kill on these guys. And that just makes it easier. Providential ring can come off and we'll put the Eternal Warriors ring on. There's not really much we need dropping from this world. And all I would advise doing in this room is kill the enemies, but don't take your eyes off the pots in front of you in that doorway. That's where the dogs are coming. From software dogs, baby. They mean business. Doesn't matter how OP I get, I'm still scared of them. So remember that um, Adjudicate Shield is actually healing our HP slowly. If you look up, our health is slowly going up. If I put the Regen Ring on, it would be going up even more. These guys with their animations, if they're mid-swing, they're not. you're not going to stagger them, and they are going to hit you hard. So be careful. Yeah, they, they still hit hard. They're worth worrying about. Yeah, 48 minutes, not bad. Did I pick up that? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's see if we can do this without messing it up. I'm so gonna mess it up now. Okay. I'm not even talking about that. The fact that I just let him fireball me. Talking about this, baby. We go. So the reason I'm coming across here just speeds things up and this guy is going to give us some gear the Yuri of the Witch later on because I, I imagine we're going to want to unlock her. So you see here um, the official's gloves. Perfect. So that gets the door open. So now we've got a pretty easy ride straight to the shortcut and Blacksmith Ed. Um, the only thing that will probably hold us back from leveling up the Crested, uh, Crested, gosh, I'm saying that, the Crescent Falchion is, um, our souls. 2,800? I think we're going to need a bit more than that. I think maybe each level is 500 or something? Or, oh, I can't remember. We've got a few soul items that we're picking up throughout the level, like here. I think that'll probably give us a few extra, a few extra coin, right? And then what we'll do is, once we're, we're powered up and we're having life, um, get ourselves get ourselves set up 
for all kinds of different paths to take then. Start getting the clever rat's ring, think about creating the Morian blade, like, oh, all this stuff. I'm telling you, bosses like Flame Lurker are just gonna, we're just gonna melt them. Long gone are the days of being afraid of the Flame Lurker, trust me. We're not even gonna go through that fog gate either. We're gonna do the, um... Lava skip. Sack boys are worth plundering just because they'll drop a shit load of shards and you never know. You, look, I mean, look at that. <laughs> you never know when you might need those. Boom, shortcut open. That's great progress. What are we looking at? F 50 minutes in. 50 minutes in, guys. Probably be a bit longer with the video because I'll probably put, you know, the intro at the beginning and the credits at the end and stuff. But as far as um, gameplay goes... 51 minutes? Hello! Oh, costs a lot of money to level up. Wow, so we just need shards. And you know where we can get shards from? We can buy them from Ed, or we can go back to 4 1 and kill that um, Mr. Lizard up near Sparkly the Crow. That'll give us exactly the shards we need to go plus 4. Crazy. Absolute crazy. Absolutely crazy. So I tell you what. Instead of wasting an archstone shard, seeing as we're so close to the archstone, let's do this, right? This is what we're going to do. Back to the Nexus. Straight to world 4. We're going to pick up those three shards. We're going to get this sword to plus 4. And then it'll literally just be a couple of chunks and some more shards. And we've got the pure moonshade, um, moonshade stone. <laughs> so that means we, it's like plus five. We get it to plus five like really quickly. Um, we're going to go to Island's Edge, pick up three. And what we'll do is when we level it up, we'll check with Ed what we actually need. For um, level five. I imagine it's going to be... What would it be? It would be six shards. Pure, the pure stone. Six shards, the pure stone, maybe three or four chunks. Being a bit cockier now because we can afford to be. What have we got? Ring of great strength. Stamina ring. You've got to remember as well, once you've got um once you've got um, magic to 40 or 50, you, you don't really need higher than that. So if you look, what are we at? We're at 36 with magic already. So it's like, well, we, we don't need to put many that many more points into it. I mean, you're just going to get diminished returns. So once you're at 40 or 50 with magic, however you're feeling things, you've just got endurance. Just go endurance, get endurance up. Start working on, the, on vitality. Bit of dex and strength, maybe just get some faith going to um, support the fact that you're going sort of like mainly a magic build. Okay, so we get three more shards from this dude. This is the amount we needed. We needed some chunks, didn't we? We will need some more chunks when it comes to the time. Should have put Providential Ring on, actually. I don't think you can get chunks. Did we get chunks dropping in this world? I think we did, didn't we? Now, the one back at Adjudicator... Near Adjudicator. We, we, we've exhausted his boss count, like respawn. So we got him a second time. So all we're going to do now is... Head back to 2-1. Just find out exactly what we need. Exactly what we need to get a plus five weapon. So we have chunks and we have more shards in places like the in 4-2, like in the phosphorescent caves and things like that. I'm just seeing how far I can go without killing bosses, you know. We've killed the phalanx and the adjudicator, right? I 
Okay, so we need three, we need six and three. Six and three is what we need. It's not bad. It's not bad. What we're going to do now, we probably prepared this before we came in, so we could have just run this straight away. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that we have in action, okay? We've got, we got five minutes, right? So we're, we're calling this the first hour of gameplay. This is what I want to do. Let's see what you guys think about this, okay? We're going to take Water Veil. We're going to tune it instead of Soul Arrow. So I haven't spent any points in Intelligence yet, so I haven't really got any slots, but it doesn't matter, right? We're going to take the shortcut here. We're going to do the Lava Skip, which isn't glitchy or anything. It's just, it's just rolling through lava with Water Veil on. Um, and we're going to go and absolutely destroy the Armored Spider. And dare I say it, we're going to absolutely... Like, completely and utterly going to destroy the Flame Lurker? <laughs> we're not. That, that's way too grandiose. We're going to beat the Flame Lurker. Have an easy ride, I think. Necessary backstab, but they never get old. So, I'm going to pop Water Veil here. I'm going to take the stamina ring off and put the flame resistance ring on. Okay. Look at that. That's the lava skip, baby. So, that will fog gate back where those enemies are. I think one of them just jumped in the lava. You do miss out on the poison ring that's down there, but... I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used it. Clear these boxes as quickly as you can, otherwise he's going to have all kinds of fireworks going. That damage against the fat official, that's really good. Second piece of fat official's gear. Only two more pieces to go. One's after the armored spider. And the other one's all the way in world one three. But once we're at that point, we're ready to free Uria, so I've access to some crazy builds. I always forget that this guy drops it from here. Fifty seven minutes, fifty eight minutes, okay. There we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rush just to get it in the hour, because I don't want to. I don't want to skip certain things. If we are going magic builds, pick up the crisp blade. Just up here, this thing will boost your sorceries. It'll boost your magic damage. So, you know, have that in the off hand, and you cast in your main hand, or vice versa, whatever. As long as the crisp blade is in in the other hand from where you're casting, it'll be boosting what you're casting. And then you put that with the Ring of Magical Sharpness, you put it with the um, Monk's Head Wraps, and although you're losing a lot of magic defense, you get a load of magic attack. So if you're fighting an enemy that doesn't have any magic, you're ugh, just destroy. Um, usually I would put the um, Flame Resistance Ring on here, but I've got Water Veil, so why not use that? Let's kill the Armor Spider. Get in nice and close, wait for the sweep, roll it. Let's go for some attacks. Half damage, baby. Step back when he slams down, stay in the middle. Fifty-nine minutes of gameplay, guys. Now just to make this a bit easier, hit the arch stone for Tunnel City, get it reset, and you'll get a boost to your Will tendency for each boss you kill. Then what we can do is flame lurker straight away. Going straight to the flame lurker. Ooh, actually. Before we go straight to the flame lurker, let's make the flame lurker a little bit easier. Okay? Just a little bit. It's a tiny piece. What we're doing is we're just going to get a couple extra points in. Our magic stack, okay? 
Oh, okay, one. <laughs> Almost two. If I knew... Okay, I tell you what, I know I'm not using the Armored Spider's soul for anything. Our Demon Soul. Like I say, don't... Don't waste these souls like I am. I'm trying to show off in front of a quick Let's Play video. Boom, okay, we're an hour in now. So that's an hour, yeah? Just to celebrate. We're almost at a plus five weapon. Now we have access to the world that drops all of the shards and everything in chunks. You know, we could easily farm the shards by sniping the reaper, getting the money, buying them from um, Blige in, in the corridor from where we're sniping from. That reaper can also drop chunks as well, so you can you can always be lucky. There you go. So again, world 2-1. What, what I have skipped is... When I came from the arch there and I turned right to come down the tunnel to come this way, if you go left, you'll, you'll find the fat official that gives you the third piece of um, Fishwall's gear that you need to free Uria. Screeve of the Wanderer down there. Different world tendencies, different states. <laughs> As you can see, once you know how to roll down here, it's so easy. It's so easy. The question is, at the end of our Let's Play, will the Flame Lurker kill me? I die. Will I get this far? Like, hey guys, look at me showing off and all this blah 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 blah. Will I die? I feel like I deserve to die. I don't know why. <laughs> Yo, right. So I'm gonna heal up. Not an idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fast roll on with my ring of great strength. I've got my stamina ring for a few extra attacks. I'll pop water veil. Wish me luck. Let's, 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 just, let's just see how we do. Let's see how we showcase the weapon. So I don't lock on. Bait the pound attack. I'll take that damage. That's not bad. Not quite as much as I want if we had 4 EMP, but he likes being stun locked, remember? Healing once, just to be safe. Done. Water veil still active. That was that was quick. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, you got the searing demon soul now, which you can give to blacksmith Ed to start making boss weapons and all that jazz. Perfect. Okay. So there you go, guys. I think let's have a quick summary of this, this Let's Play. And what I need to know in the comments is, do you want another one? Do you want to continue this run just so we can actually finish the game? So, present Falchion plus four. <laughs> got an Adjudicator Shield. We've got full Ancient King set there. A Ring of Great Strength, a Regenerator's Ring, a Fragrant Ring, an Eternal Warrior's Ring, a Flame Resistance Ring, a Gash Resistance Ring, Cling Ring, Thief Ring, Providential Ring... Bad. Um, we've still got Soul Arrow or Water Veil, but we probably won't be using Veil anymore. Um, what are we? It's a level thirty-two, not bad. Actually, no, 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 no. It's not. A, that's not a correct summary. Where's our lady? She is slacking off. Look. <laughs> um. Oh, the magic at forty. I'll leave magic there for now and start putting points in endurance. I think. That's not bad. Level 35 is nice as well. Take that. Okay, so. Let's have a little look. Level 35. 304 AR already with our weapon. Over 300 AR with the weapon. Physical and magic with a boost to magic. Scaling with A. Spot on. Got a demon brand, we've got our Chris Blade. We've got three bows now, four bows maybe? Short bow, caught, yeah, three bows there. Alisman. Two big shields, playing uh, Purple Flame and Judicators. Not bad, is it? And you saw how we just melted through Armored Spider and uh, the Flame Lurker, right? That's my first hour of the game, basically. That's how I would roll if I were you. This is, this is how I go if I. I just want to get through the game, play it for fun, get through it nice and quick. 
This doesn't involve any friends, doesn't involve any online play, nothing. But we're not done with this. This, this, this little build of ours, this little royalty build, hasn't even started. <laughs> I mean, it has, it's been an hour, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So I tell you what, guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to keep this going, and I'll be able to um, drop these videos uh, around other videos that I'm doing and streaming. So cheers, guys. See you in the next one.